In the bone marrow, hemopoietic stem cells are created. These differentiate either into myeloid stem cells, which then go on to become platelets, red blood cells, granulocytes, such as basophils, eosinophils, and neutrophils, or monocytes, such as macrophages. Alternatively, these can stay in the bone marrow and become B cells as part of the humoral immunity. B cells are specific to um, a pathogen. They have memory, they produce antibodies, and they are long-lived so that they can recognize path pathogens. Alternatively, the hematopoietic stem cells will move into the um, thymus as lymphoid stem cells um, and they become committed T cells. They get their thymus education and then will become either CD8 or CD4 cells. CD8 are cytotoxic cells that are non-specific to a pathogen such as natural killers. CD4 cells are also called Th0 cells. These are helper T cells. When CD4 is acted upon by interferon gamma or interleukin 12, Th0 cells become Th1 cells. This in turn creates more interferon gamma and also TNF alpha. This is part of um, the cell mediated immunity. So antigen processing and presenting will further activate more T cells and recruit macrophages and natural killers as part of the defense. It also generates more interleukin 2, which is a growth factor for things such as leukocytes. When um, there is interferon gamma and interleukin 12, these have a dampening effect on the ability for Th0 to differentiate into Th2. If, however, the CD4 Th0 helper T cell is acted upon by interleukin 4 or interleukin 10, the Th0 cell differentiates and becomes a Th2 cell. These have memory and they activate B cells and um, antibodies are triggered as a result. Th2 cells also produce cytokines as well as producing more interleukin-4 and interleukin-10. When interleukin-4 and interleukin-10 are present, they also have a dampening effect on the ability for Th0 to differentiate to Th1 cells. Th4 cells can also increase hematopoiesis.